Can you make money selling air? You bet. How much clean air is worth? Bottled air. Chinese multi-millionaire sells 8 million 80 cent cans of fresh air in 10 days as pollution levels climb to record highs in China. Mm. Now, this multi-millionaire, now this guy is worth like 700 and someone million dollars. Right? Over 700 million dollars of okay, wealth. Of wealth. So he came up with the concept of basically bottling these air. This was a few years ago. This is back in 2013. 2013. Mm -hmm. And I think when we first heard about the idea, we remember back then, we thought it was the dumbest idea ever. Because who would buy bottled air? Like, who would do that? It's just, it's just a dumb idea, right? So he, I think he, wasn't he from Vancouver? Oh, he, he was from Vancouver? Yeah, his name is Chen Guangbiao. And Guang Biao. He's, uh, back then, he was a 44-year-old entrepreneur. Yes. And as you mentioned, he's worth over $700 million already. Yeah. Super wealthy, and uh, according to this article, he is a bit of a celebrity in China. Mm. Has more than four million followers on Sina Weibo, which is uh, China's version of Twitter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so this guy came up with the idea. Very successful guy, bottled the fresh air, and then basically sent it back to China. And I wonder how do people like use it. <laughs> How did like do they open? Because when you, the minute yeah. you open up the can, all the air just all the air is gone. <laughs> comes out. So I don't know. I've seen two different versions of it. So one, it's a little bit fancier. It might be like a gener a second generation type of a design okay. where they it's like a spray can, like a hairspray. Oh, okay. Just, oh, okay. You know, they spray into their mouth or their nose, right? Okay. But the first generation is literally just like a pop can. They you pop it open and you just try to consume it as quickly as possible before it's all gone. An empty can. An empty can. And then you're left with an empty can. <laughs> you're literally selling air. So you can make money. And he sold how many? He sold uh, 8 million in 10 days. And 80 cents. At 80 cents a can. That's amazing. Yes. Now you might be thinking like, why are they, like are they stupid? Why, like, what, why is the Chinese buying these things? Uh, if you've been to China, especially Beijing or certain major cities, you know how bad the air pollution is. I mean, it's horrible, horrible. Just in Vancouver, we've had a couple of days of kind of like mm -hmm. a little bit of air pollution because all the forest fire. Yes. And we experienced a little bit of that, but it's not as bad as in China. Because in China, if you go out like in a day, you come back like with white shoes, you'll no, be like... No, I remember when I grew shoes. up, I never, no, my mom would never buy me a pair of like white shoes. Never. Nothing white. Nothing, nothing white. Exactly, nothing, nothing white. white. And even the dust is like black, you know? Mm -hmm. Now here, the dust is kind of like gray. And people walk around with like a mask yes. on. Cause, cause mm, they, I think nowadays more. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of air pollution comes from the, the factories, right? Also Factory the, pollution. Factory the regulation pollution. is different in China. It's yes. very loosely guided. Cold. Yeah. From the uh, cold. Very likely yeah. you can blackmail the inspector who comes around to check your, your factory. Yeah. And yeah. that's how many factories get away with it. Yeah. And yeah. I remember the last time I was in China, uh, I had my phone with me and I, I use an Android, so it's Google based. Yes. And Google sent me a warning, gave me a notification. It says, it's very, very dirty right now, your air. <laughs> so it was a, a, rank, a scale of between zero to 10. Yeah. And it was at 12 or 15 or something yeah. really high. Was me. that why the ban in China? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Possibly. And it was telling me to leave and I thought it was pretty funny actually. Yeah. So it's like, it's actually dangerous. <laughs> it's actually dangerous to breathe the air in yeah. China. Wow. continuously and and you can see it from you know the hospitals that they have there are a lot of people with lung issues or yes. breathing issues not because they smoke anything like that just because they live there and people still do smoke in china yeah. as well yeah you know smoking is still huge actually huge, yeah. yes so even if you don't smoke yourself the pollution in addition to the second hand smoke that alone can give you a lot of health issues and also in, in china a lot of the like the business dinner you have the other parties they're smoking they're drinking yeah. it's kind of impolite when they're smoking and you're like this, mm -hmm. or, please don't smoke. No, they just, when they're having dinner, they're smoking. That's yes. what they do, right? Uh, they can smoke anywhere publicly, I think, in China. Yeah. Restaurant do you, or... Do you think this guy, like, so he made a bunch of, he's already made a lot of money, mm -hmm. but he's made a bunch of money in a short period of time. Would this sustain or is this like a fad? And I don't know, because I, I don't follow the news. I don't know if he's selling it. You know, the interesting is, even though China has this reputation for, you know, being a huge contributor to polluting our earth, yes. they have also, in the past recent years, taken great lengths to 
reverse that. Yes. So they've done things like shutting down some factories for a few days of the year. They built this enormous building in China where it's like a vertical green kind of a plantation Correct. where it, it's meant to get about more oxygen and absorb some of the pollution. So, you know, when the government in China wants to do something, things actually do happen. I, I think that's one big difference I see in North America, even in Canada, when we want to do something, when we want to build a highway, when you want to build a bridge, it takes... Pass a new law. Pass a new law, like 10 years, 15 years, a long time. Mm -hmm. In China, because it's such, not just communist, but it's the government has good and bad, pros and cons, no perfect system. Mm -hmm. But the government has so much power that they, when they want to make a decision, we want to do something, they can do it very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. What takes here 10 years to do, they could do it in one year. Mm -hmm. Because they, so you remember back then the Beijing Olympics, mm -hmm. when they, they think the air pollution is bad, mm -hmm. all the factories, they say, well, you know what? No manufacturing, we're gonna shut you down. Mm -hmm. It shut down like that. Here, impossible. You know, in America, you get lawsuits, they'll complain, they will protest that this like China government. So in that way, it's efficient. It is kind of, kind of goes back to the ancient China, right? <laughs> With the, the, the king, the emperor. Yes. Where if the 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 counselors or the, in here compared to the U.S. would be the or the senators or the, <laughs> the U.S. government, right? Yeah, back then in China, in, thousands of years ago, the emperor doesn't like you. I mean, the, he cuts off your head. Yes, he kills your family, and that's it. There's no maybe. There's no let's think about it. Let's go through a court. No, you're dead, right? That's it. Like tomorrow, you're dead, and he takes all your money. That's that's about it, right? <laughs> so interesting. And I think doesn't doesn't he didn't he have a lot of pop copycat right afterwards? Absolutely, they're definitely it's, it's not it's not hard to get air realistically you know, <laughs> any kind of air. I wonder if China. You, even you don't put anything in it, just seal the can and you just ship it. It might just work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting, and, and as as I mentioned earlier, there's been like improved versions of these cans, yes, yes. right? If, if I could preserve some of that and use it strategically instead of wasting a whole can. Or maybe have a mask or something like that. that they could absolutely, yeah. and absolutely. And you know, when your air gets so polluted, people would get desperate. Yeah. Especially if you have health issues. Like for me, I, I'm, I was born with asthma. Mm. So I can imagine, you know, every time I go to China, I just can't breathe. I really literally cannot breathe. Mm. And every time I come back to Canada, I'm just like, yeah. wow, I, I, just, I just love the air here. Yeah. And what we're saying is not just the air is there are so many opportunities in terms of, that's why in North America, people are selling water, clean water, uh, clean food, clean baby food. Like a lot of these products now, China is buying up because they don't trust their own brands. They don't trust their own products. The ones who are, who are well off, they don't want to, they could, they could afford it, they would buy stuff from overseas. The one who couldn't afford it, they don't have a choice, then they would kind of just use the product in China. Oh, by the way, so I have another article here. This is from 2015, mm -hmm. so a couple of years from uh, the first guy who sold it in 2014. So this is air, canned air from Banff, fresh Banff air, by wow. Quality Air. So, Good branding. Yeah. Now, instead of 80 cents a pop, they were selling about $13 and up. Oh, that's, that's high ticket sales right there. <laughs> <laughs> and even at that price point, they pre-sold the first sample batch at mm -hmm. $500 or nice. 500 bottles sold out within a week and a half. The next shipment, they had 4,000 bottles with 1,000 of them being pre-sold already. Mm. And this is the new version that you can just kind of pump out as needed so you can mm. preserve the remaining within the bottle and not having to like, you know, pop it open and kind of try to consume the whole can within 10 seconds. Yes. So definitely with that kind of air quality, the demand is there. Even if it's air, outside of China, there's demand. Yes. So that's it for this episode. Comment below, share with us what you think. Can you make money selling air? Make sure you click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell, turn on the notification, and stay tuned for future episodes.